Hello, my YouTube friends and family. Today, I am making coconut almond sweet bread. Let's see what the ingredients are. Two stick room temperature unsalted butter will be used for the fillings and the dough. Three fourth cup and one tablespoon milk or carnation milk. Two whole eggs. Half cup sugar. One tablespoon yeast. One teaspoon salt. One cup sweetened coconut flakes. One cup sliced almonds. 3 cups all-purpose flour 3 fourth cup and 1 tablespoon carnation milk or regular 2% milk Microwave the milk for 20 seconds to make it lukewarm Add 1 tablespoon sugar to the lukewarm milk and then mix well Add 1 tablespoon yeast to the warm milk and then mix and let it sit for 10 minutes The wake yeast should look something like this, all bubbly and ready to go. Add the three cups all-purpose flour to the mixer bowl. Half cup sugar, one whole egg, the wake yeast. One third cup milk powder. Start mixing on the low speed. If you don't have a kitchen aid, just do it by hand. Now add the salt. You don't want to add salt right away because it's going to kill the yeast. Slowly increase the speed as the dough gets thicker. Now add 3 tablespoons room temperature butter. Mix until the dough looks smooth. Wet your palm with some vegetable oil and then on the dough. Now gently fold the dough. Pap bang the pinong hit mu babao auna. Lightly spread the vegetable oil on the dough as well. Don't forget to grease the bowl with some vegetable oil. This step will help the dough rise smoothly. Cover the dough with couple layers of saran wraps and couple layers of towels. You can leave them in room temperature for two hours, but I like to keep mine in an unheated oven for two hours. This is two hours later. Divide the dough in halves. Knead the dough 3 to 5 minutes and do the same thing on the other half. Gently form and round the dough. Do the same thing on the other half. Cover with saran wraps and a couple layers of towels and leave it for 20 minutes. Now let's work on the dough. Now roll both doughs into rectangular shapes. Brush the room temperature butter evenly except on the edges. Spread desired amount of sweetened coconut flakes. One tablespoon sugar and sprinkle them evenly throughout the dough. Flatten on one of the short side of the dough. This will help the dough stay after we rolled. Grease the pan with room temperature butter. Make sure you spread them out evenly. Spray some water on the knife and then we're going to make slit. The slit's going to be very deep but do not detach.
This piece is ready and we're going to do the same thing on the other half of the dough. Make sure you crisscross each pieces so that they come out nicely when they are baked. Both pieces are now connected and crisscross. Cover with saran wraps and a few layers of towels and leave them in room temperature for 20 minutes. And then they should be ready to bake. Set the oven to 355 and bake time for 28 minutes. Mix the eggs really well and make sure you brush on evenly throughout the dough. Sprinkle some sweetness coconut flakes and then follow by the sliced almonds. It's now time to bake. Oh my gosh, guys. I wish you can smell. The whole house smells like toasted coconuts and almonds. Now I'm brushing on the melted butter. You can add one tablespoon sugar to the melted butter and brush on this sweet bread. I attach a short clips of different fillings for this bakery. About three tablespoons butter. 3 tablespoons almond flour 2 tablespoons sugar 1 whole egg 1 quarter cup sweetened coconut flakes Mix everything really well and then spread on the flat dough Now spread on the dough, make sure you avoid the edges. Wet the knife and do some slit. You can form any shape or style you like. This coconut almond sweet bread is so delicious for snacks and breakfast. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and see you next clip. Stay safe everyone!